Turkish police have moved to clear protesters from Istanbul's Taksim Square. It came after the Prime Minister addressed thousands of supporters and warned the demonstrators in Istanbul would be evicted. Well, let's talk to Al Jazeera's Jamal El Shail. He's live for us in Istanbul's Taksim Square now. Uh, Jamal, so the police, we understand, have moved in on the protesters. Uh, just tell us what's happening there. Indeed, Darren, uh, it appears a very clinical operation by the police who entered after they announced on the uh, loudspeakers in Taksim Square calling on all women and children to leave the area. And within minutes, I'm just going to step away from the camera as I talk so you can see this square literally 15 minutes ago was packed with protesters, with tourists, with passers-by, and now it is only filled with the police, essentially uh, heeding the call by the Prime Minister that this square must be emptied. After uh, uh, enforcing their uh, control over Taksim, they then moved into the park. That was after they had fired some water cannons and uh, lobbed a few tear gas grenades in and around the area. Um, columns of police officers then started uh, moving towards and inside the park. Uh, it seems they are now trying to establish control over Gezi Park as well and probably dismantle the tents that uh, people have been camped in there for about 17 or 18 days now um, however the operation was very swift indeed possibly over in about or at least for Taxim Square that is was over maybe in about a matter of minutes five or ten minutes um, in terms of establishing their control there uh, now it seems they're making announcements on the loudspeakers inside the park calling on people also to uh, leave there so uh, that is the latest from here Darren uh, Jamal uh, whilst we're talking to you now we're just going to show our viewers uh, the pictures from Taksim Square a few minutes ago when the police moved in. So this is earlier uh, when the police moved in with water cannon to disperse uh, those protesters, uh, Jamal. You were saying uh, that the operation uh, was fairly clinical. I mean, did the protesters have any sort of idea that, uh, that this was going to happen? Well, there was some sort of idea, maybe I would say about 20 minutes warning, 30 minutes warning is how much uh, we got. At least we were in or around the square and then you suddenly saw the police officers putting their gas masks on and then in the loudspeakers they called, said all visitors, all women, all children, please leave the vicinity of the square, which was a clear indication that uh, uh, an operation was imminent. And uh, very swiftly it happened. Uh, there, there weren't any clashes, so to speak. There didn't seem uh, to be anyone fighting back. There was uh, chance. Uh, now we're seeing more police coming from this side. It seems that some protesters uh, are trying to maybe uh, regain some sort of control from another entrance because they're in this square just to give our viewers a geographical idea of where we are. It is a massive square and it has roughly eight or nine even more entrances. Um, so it is very difficult for any security uh, apparatus to enforce full control over it, considering um, how large it is and how many entrances and exits, not to mention that it is a number one tourist attraction. So obviously there will always be passers-by, people who maybe don't have uh, a stake in what's going on. And that's what's also making it uh, more of a challenge for the security services. However, from what we've seen, it has been, like I say, a, a, a clinical operation. We never saw any fighting back. Uh, the police made their announcements for maybe 20, 30 minutes and then moved in. Uh, we haven't seen any injuries of, or any of that sort, at least uh, from where we've been standing. And, uh, and that's, uh, that's how the situation's been. Jamal, uh, in fact, we're now back to live pictures on our TV screens now uh, of what's happening in Taxman Square now. It, 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 it looks like we're seeing uh, some kind of tear gas floating uh, across one part of the square. Can you see that from where you are? Um, if I look, there's, there's some tear gas right below us uh, on this side. And this was one of the entrances, like I said, where it seemed a group of uh, young men uh, uh, were trying to regain entrance into the square. Um, it's kind of subsiding. However, there is a, a strong police. I'm letting my cameraman zoom into it so you can see there's uh, a dozen or so or a few dozen police officers in riot gear there, uh, maybe trying to uh, heed off. I can hear the chants from across on the other 
side of that building from Istiklal Street, which is the main street for our viewers. For example, in the UK, it's Turkey's alternative to uh, Oxford Street or uh, in you know uh, some of the main streets in Manhattan. That's the kind of like main shopping street here. Um, and it seems that's where most of the people ran to. Um, there was, when we were walking down that street earlier today, a gathering of uh, some of the socialist parties who had set up stalls there to get signatures, uh, anti-government signatures there. So maybe that bolstered the numbers from that entrance. Um, but very tense situation now. Uh, thankfully for those here, there hasn't been uh, any uh, violence as we saw before, but that could very quickly change. All right, uh, Jamal El Shail there in Istanbul. Jamal, thank you very much for the update from Taxim Square.